really having a hard time breathing. I don't know what I want to say. I feel like I have just a hundred different things to say. Um, I had four hours of sleep last night, almost four hours. I feel mentally really good. Um, one thing that has been so hard, to, I just shut the TV off. It was distracting me. One thing that, that has been really hard to explain to people and, uh, that people don't understand and no one's even had a conversation with me about this. I, it, this is all new to me. One thing that's hard to explain to people is that when you're only sleeping one or two hours a night or three hours, 365 days a year, Parts of your brain aren't capable. Nobody seems to understand that. That um, you know, uh, like organize. There are zero organizational skills. There's zero. Um, you know, what's the word? Uh, willingness. You're just so tired. It's not just being so tired you're ready to fall down, but it's also parts of your brain aren't working. Sleep is critical. It's like, you know, sleep is as critical as, you know, food, fuel, or oxygen, or, you know, it's like um, cutting off someone's oxygen, covering someone's mouth, nose and mouth up and asking them to run up a hill. Sleep is critical. And uh, there's so many ways it affects the brain that people don't realize that, that, you know, most doctors don't realize. I don't even know who who would know the detailed, all the details of how critical sleep deprivation affects the brain and mind. Maybe a sleep specialist neurologist? I have no idea. Somebody who studies the brain and sleep. And uh, like my house is a disaster. My house really hasn't been cleaned in years. And it's hard to explain to people. People think that's a mental health issue. I'm now at 10 years of sleeping three hours or less. Maybe every two months I will have one night of four hours of sleep. So that doesn't really even count. Um, so I'm at 10 years of sleeping three hours a night or less. Uh, for years, I still functioned at three hours, but you begin to slow down and break down. And then five years ago, I started sleeping only one or two hours a night. And uh, imagine that. I really can't believe I'm still alive. And, uh, I feel like there's so much to say and I don't know how to, like, that's, that's the thing. They're organizational problems, right? They, the organization doesn't even exist when you're long-term critically sleep deprived. I've, I feel, you know what? The minute I get four hours of sleep, I feel like talking nonstop. Um, I've got so much to say. And also, I have this sense of that maybe I'm not going to be around in the future. And it feels like there's so many things I want to get out. 
is so many things I want to say and leave behind in case I don't survive. Um, I think I'll just end the video and make another one. Um, so today I, I had almost four hours of sleep. I feel total organizational. I like, I, I feel like I've got a million things to do. The house is a disaster. The, what's hold holds me back is now I'm so ill, like my heart and lungs and, uh, I'm struggling to breathe. I, I truly feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. Um, my chest hurts most of the time now. Um, so I feel like I'm in a panic. I feel like my brain can actually work today in organizational ways. So it's an opportunity, a rare opportunity that I can actually do some house cleaning or organizing. And, um, I feel like I'm in a panic, but my body won't allow me to do a whole lot because I'm so ill. Um, I took the heart monitor off. I, I, a neighbor took me to drop it off. So I'm really eager to get those results. I'll make another video.